नलेंद्र ओके फॉर व्हिच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू आर अ फ्रॉम फॉर आईओसीएल सर ओके एंड टुडे यू वांट टू गिव द स्नैप फॉर व्हिच सब्जेक्ट फॉर पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सर फॉर पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ओके टेल मी वन थिंग why we need filters and what, what and what are the type of filter uh, sir uh, whenever we convert one type of waveform to another if we are converting ac to dc so there are ripples in the dc side due to incomplete separation of ac to remove these ripples we need filter also in case of ac side there are harmonics so to remove that harmonics also uh, we need filter uh basically the filters that we use are l filter c filter and lc filters okay so coming to the area of application uh, what are the area where the filters are used uh sir filters are used uh, in rectifiers on the load side when we are converting ac to dc in inverters also it is used when we are converting dc to ac okay uh, suppose if there is a inverter yes sir okay one minute yeah no yes sir okay okay suppose uh, if if i have a object yes sir okay and if we want if we want to do the filtering suppose uh, suppose in the case of hv ac okay, or hv dc yes sir right the filtering that we are using for removing the harmonics yes sir in the case of hv dc at the yes, at the converting station okay so can you briefly explain that how this filtering is being done at the conversion station of hvdc uh, sir i don't have in depth idea about that anything uh, sir i know the basic working of uh, in case of filtering uh, if we are using a capacitive filter the generally there are the ripples in the voltage waveform so the capacitor charges with the maximum value of the load voltage and the time constant of the discharging circuit is very large it is kept very large so the discharging time is very large so it maintains a constant waveform instead of giving ripples okay in the inverter yes sir okay what is the uh, first of all tell me what is the, uh, why we need the inverter and in the inverter uh, there are the yes, uh, there are two conduction mode 180 degree and 120 degree what is this uh, yes. uh sir these are the sir we need inverters if we want to convert dc into ac for example sir in our home uh, whenever there is power supply mm -hmm. cut the source that we have is dc because power can be stored in form of battery but the load that we want to drive is the ac load so we need some kind of power electronic converter which can convert that dc into ac for me so that that inverter serves that purpose and uh, a 180 degree and 120 degree are uh, the types of three phase inverter uh, in 180 degree conduction mode uh, the switch conducts for 180 degree whereas in case of 120 degree mode it conducts for 120 degree uh, the reason why we move from 180 to 120 is that in case of uh, 180 degree there are harmonics in pole voltage pole voltage but in case mm -hmm. of 120 degree pole voltage line voltage or phase voltage all are free from uh, harmonics third harmonic okay what do you mean by third harmonic uh sir third harmonics are the component of fundamental frequency which are multiplied by a factor of 3 for example if we have 50 hertz frequency then the frequency components which will have 150 hertz frequency they are they'll be third harmonics okay 
in the case of pipeline yes sir okay why we why we need the polytonic equipment at the pipeline station uh, sorry sir i don't know about that. Anything? What is pipelining? Uh, sir, I have brief idea that uh, the refined products in the refinery they are sent to distribution stations uh, through pipelines, which are made up of steel. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tell me. Uh, sir, I. Uh, i don't know about the technical pipelining if you are asking but uh, in case of refineries we have a pipeline network which is used to send the finished product from uh, refineries to the distribution station how many type of pipelining are there uh, sir there are upstream midstream and downstream three types of uh, pipeline okay. <clears throat> suppose Suppose uh, if there is a, if we require the filtering at the pipeline. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Then uh, what are the technique that we have to use? Uh, sir, I don't have idea about that. Okay. Can you design the snubber circuit? Ah uh, yes, sir. Okay, tell me why we are using a snubber uh, circuit? Ah, uh, sir, snubber circuits are used to protect uh, the thyristor from high dB by dt and high di by dt uh, rating. Ah, uh, in case of in case of uh, sorry, in case of thyristor, sir. Uh, Uh, there should not be high, high dv by dt across it because in that case a very large current will flow through it which can burn the thyristor uh, so we connect a capacitor in parallel with it and uh, due to that capacitor the capacitor charges slowly so that solves the problem of dv by dt for discharging we also connect a series resistance with it so that solves the problem of dv by dt and we connect an inductor in series with the thyristor so that a di by dt uh, can be controlled okay have you uh, hear the term dc transformer uh, no sir i have not heard the term static kramer device uh, yes sir i know about static kramer device uh sir it is What basically is uh, sir it is a technique to control the speed of the induction motor through slip power recovery scheme uh, it is generally used to control the speed sub it is used for sub synchronous speed control of induction motor below the synchronous speed uh, in this uh, what we have is that mm -hmm. with the supply the uh, three phase induction motor is connected which is slippering induction motor type uh, the terminals of the slippering induction motor are connected to a uncontrolled rectifier three phase uncontrolled rectifier that converts the dc ac that is available at the slip rings into dc then we have an uh, filter circuit lc filter to fill out, filter out the ripples after that we have an inverter three phase inverter which is used to uh, we uh, we have three phase thyristors only but we operate it at alpha greater than 90 so that they can work in inversion mode If we invert the power, convert them back into AC, and with the help of transformer, we step it up and we give it back to supply. Uh, with the help of uh, by controlling the firing angles of both the converters, the slip of the uh, three-phase squirrel cage uh, slippering induction motor can be uh, controlled. Okay, generally used for the slip power recovery. Yes, sir. okay so in the static kramer device uh, what are the yes. component that we are using uh we are using a uncontrolled three phase rectifier in which we are using diodes 
then we are using sir uh, inductor capacitor for filtration then we are using a full converter mm -hmm. for alpha greater than 19 which we are using thyristors and we also use a transformer okay last question in the case of reducing the harmonic uh, we are there to use the filter yes sir so it is also advisory to not to use the polytonic equipment but yes, the sir. but the advancement has been uh, so has been gone so far that without the use of polytonic equipment the automation would not be taken place yes sir हेलो 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 सर कैन यू हियर मी हेलो या निरंजन यस सर ओके लास्ट क्वेश्चन दैट विद इंक्रीजिंग यूज ऑफ पॉलिटॉनिक्स द हार्मोनिक इज बीइंग इंट्रोड्यूस इनटू द सिस्टम राइट यस सो it is advisory to not to use the polytonic equipment uh but the automation should not possible without the use of this hi sir uh, if we are don't use power electronics equipment and we connect an external filter circuit it increases the cost as well as it uh, it is costly and it reduces the overall efficiency of the system but there nowadays there have been certain methods like if i talk about inverter we have a selective harmonic reduction technique or we have the pulse width modulation technique so without connecting an external uh, filter circuit with internal control only we can reduce harmonic to some extent so i think uh, by internal methods only we should reduce the harmonics okay listen uh, your interview is over yes sir see uh, they will not go into the depth of this polytonics yes. but they will ask the area but uh, please go through the pipeline okay sir uh, what are the method of filtering yes sir filtering of the oil also they will ask and filtering in the term of equipment that we are using at the pipelining stage okay sir and what are the method what are the motor that we are using and uh, also <clears throat> Uh, how this static crammer device actually work okay please go through the in one or two animation video how this actually okay, work sir. okay sir. right okay sir. they will uh, mostly ask about mosfet vjt igbt okay basic difference okay sir. one popular thing is that uh, there is a term called iect card igct okay sir these are the popular uh, drive that used to operate the voltage of 6.6 kv okay sir okay so please go through this and uh, yeah this much is enough for the voltonics uh, from the okay. point of view okay okay sir thank you